Hey guys, today we have a 2018 Nissan Pathfinder, and we're going to do a test fit of the Yakima Jetstream Timberline Tower Roof Rack System. Now this is going to be a great accessory to put on your raised side rails of your Nissan Pathfinder. It'll allow you to get your favorite accessories on top of your roof rack, whether it's a bike rack, a kayak carrier, or even a cargo box. Now our roof rack's made up of two different parts. Up top we're going to have our 60 inch Jetstream crossbars. Now these are also available in silver. You see we have the black ones up top. Just see e-trailer for whichever color suits your vehicle best. Now we have a nice aerodynamic shape on our crossbars. That, when combined with this rubber strip up top, is going to help cut down on wind noise and drag, even when we're traveling at high speeds. When we pop the end cap off, we're going to have access into this T-slot. And what's nice is that we don't have to pull out the rubber strip and cut it to length like some roof rack systems. We just push down on it and then slide the T-slot accessory all the way through and then tighten it down and we're good to go. We'll just put our end cap back on, like so. Now, down below, what's connecting our Jetstream crossbars to our raised side rails is our Timberline towers. Now, these have rubber-coated steel straps that come under our raised side rail and hook in up here, and then you tighten them down, and it just squeezes onto that crossbar and just makes sure it's secure. We have our tightening bolt right here that you use the included tightening tool to cinch it down onto your raised side rail. And that rubber-coated steel strap is going to protect your race side rail from any type of scratches or abrasions. When we put our end caps back on, we're going to see we do have these pop locks up top. We can replace those with actual Yakima lock cores, which are sold separately here at E-Trailer, and that could just give you more security for your roof rack. Now I'll go ahead and give you some clearance measurements. First, from the top of our roof to the bottom of our gesture and crossbar, that's going to be three and a quarter inches. That's plenty of space to get any clamp-on accessories or any of our rubber-coated steel strap accessories around our jet stream crossbar without risking the ruining the finish of the, on the top of your roof. Now, if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our jet stream crossbar, that's going to be four inches exactly. That's something to keep in mind for any low-clearance situations because you have added that much space to the top of your roof. Now, we also are going to have a weight capacity of 165 pounds but double check with your Pathfinder's owner's manual to make sure your roof can handle that weight. Now that we've gone over some of those features, I'll show you how to get it installed. You see we have our front crossbar in place. The rear one's going to install and assemble the exact same way. We'll start by just flipping over our Jetstream crossbar. Now we're going to grab our Timberline tower. We do have to do a bit of assembly real quick. We're just going to take this black plastic piece and just pop it on like so until you hear it snap in. Now what we're going to do Let's take this silver piece and it's going to thread on that screw that's on the inside. So it's going to get lined up on top of it and we're going to flip over our tower and we're just going to push the strap through like so and there's going to be a bolt on the inside of that hole that's uncovered when you put the strap in. Grab our tightening tool, begin to tighten down the silver piece and we're going to go until it's level with these two black pieces right here. Once we do that, we're going to go to the other side of our Jetstream crossbar and making sure that the open side of the strap is facing the outside of the bar, we're just going to go ahead and put it in this channel. I need to just move it around a bit so it gets, just in case it gets caught on something. Once you get it on there, just pull it on. Now from here, we're going to go back to that same screw and we're going to tighten it down all the way. When you hear those audible clicks, you know it's tight enough. Take our end cap for our crossbar, put it on. Now we're ready to get it on our roof. Now when getting your crossbar on your roof, if you have a height restriction, go ahead and open up this door. We'll climb up so that we can see the other side. We want to make sure we get that strap to go under the crossbar, or at least just set up to do it. And we'll do the same on this side. Also make sure that your rounded edge right here is facing forward, that's going to be the front. And now we'll grab a tape measure and get our crossbar spread before we tighten anything down. Now we're going to measure our crossbar spread to make sure that our bars are parallel. It's going to help make sure that all of your accessories mounted to the top work properly. We're going to measure center on center from both crossbars. There's no set measurement. You just want to make sure it's above 24 inches. I usually base it off of whatever accessory I'll be hauling that day. So get the measurement on both sides. 
and then we can tighten it down. Now we gotta tighten down two different bolts. We have this first one right here that's more noticeable that's gonna tighten down our strap against our raised side rail. And then the one on the inside is gonna tighten down our Timberline tower to our jet stream crossbar to make sure that it doesn't move at all. Doesn't matter which one you do first, just get them both done. This one designed to be too tight, so once you get it good, it's nice and snug, we'll move on to this next one. Now as you're tightening this one down, it's gonna get tighter and tighter. You're gonna keep going until you hear the audible clicks out of our tightening tool. Once you hear those, you know it's tight enough. So we can grab our end cap and put it on. Now you're ready to load up your very favorite Yakima accessories and then hit the road. Now with all that being said, that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Yakima Jetstream Timberline Tower Roof Rack System on our 2018 Nissan Pathfinder.